Joanne haul. You guys, they had the unicorn of sales this past weekend where patterns were on sale and fabric, like clearance fabric was also marked down an additional like 40% or something. So I absolutely could not resist running over there and doing a little bit of shopping. And I thought I would show you what all I got and sort of what my plans are for it. Um, as you can imagine, clearance fabric isn't always like in season. It isn't always like, you know, the right colors or the right fabrication. Um, so a lot of what I'm doing whenever I'm in the clearance section is kind of thinking ahead to like fall or winter since that's usually the off season fabrics that are on sale. Um, but for patterns, I ended up getting the Vogue pattern I wanted, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute, as well as several Butterick patterns, because that's what was on sale. So let's start with the patterns first. <laughs> there are this many. <laughs> I know I couldn't help myself. Um, some of these you guys will remember from the more recent uh, first impression videos, uh, the ones that, you know, I really fell in love with during those videos. Um, and a lot of it too is what I see myself wearing at the end of this summer as we go into fall. Um, I've got a couple of vacations coming up, so I'm kind of trying to think about if I want to make something for those. So this is what I picked up. This is, let me look at the actual pattern number for this because this was one of the display patterns. So this is Butterick 6881. I don't know why they do different numbers when they're on display. That's so annoying. But 6881, this really cute jumpsuit with kind of like the asymmetrical bodice with the buttons. I just thought that would be, you know, really adorable for fall. But I could also make um, like a summery, well, like an early or late summer version um, with shorts and I love all the different sleeve options, and I particularly love the wide leg on this guy here. So I thought that would be really fun and practical, you know, kind of like a seasonless type of jumpsuit. Still loving wearing the jumpsuits. I don't see them going anywhere for a while, do you guys? Um, next up, I got Butterick 6350. Now this is kind of like a vacation vibe if I've ever seen one. This is from 2016. It's kind of like an oldie but a goodie. Um, and I just love kind of like the flowiness of it all. Just the easy breezy, lightweight. I imagine, I mean, really, truthfully, you could make this out of anything from rayon chalet all the way up to like even like a linen or something. And I think it would be really adorable. So I'm going to shop the um, fabric stash for this one. And I think it'd be really quick too, right? It's only a couple pattern pieces probably a facing boom 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 done you know bit of a fabric hog though because all that width in the fabric or in the skirt but um yeah i think she's going to be really cute so excited about her then i got butterick 6621 you guys probably remember this one from back in the day this one's from well last year so not that long ago um i think i saw everybody and their brother make view c um, but I'm in love with View A. Anything that is going to conceal a tummy, I am here for her. Um, plus, this will be a great way to use up some of the mid-weight kind of uh, knit fabrics that I have in my stash. I um, Again, with all the sleeve options, you could even make her sleeveless, and I think that she would be a really great option for like, a, again, a seasonless type of situation. So all of my knit fabrics are on this, oh, I stepped on a puppy, um, are on this section here. And I do have some really great mid-weight options that would be good for something like this. So excited to try that one. Again, probably pretty simple, right? Couple pattern pieces, you throw it together, bias binding, and you're done. Um, this one is Butterick 6728. And I don't know, I was just kind of called to, the ruffle sleeve, obviously I love a ruffle sleeve. I also love the like little center band. I don't know what you want to call that. Um, I don't know. I the yellow version is obviously something more like what I would make versus that like patchwork option. But again, it's got an empire waist, a little bit set up a little bit higher on the body. So again, super breathable and comfortable 
for the belly. I imagine if you're pregnant, which I am not, um, <laughs> this would be a really great option for you as you grow into your belly. But, you know, really modest and sweet and, you know, really nice for like a summer night out, right? Super cute. Um, I can see myself doing the contrast too, the blocking of it all. Um, so yeah, I really like this one, six, seven, two, eight. I also got this number here genuinely just because it's going to be easy and quick to sew. And again, this is a woven from 2015, Butterick 6210. Very easy. It's just kind of like a t-shirt situation. I'm even imagining Butterick has a ton of patterns with elastic in the waist which just isn't my favorite anymore. I don't know if it's just like a lifestyle thing, a comfort thing, you know, a gut health issue thing. I'm just not liking the elastic around my waist as much, but I can imagine leaving the elastic out of this and just having sort of like a t-shirt dress and it being really cute. Now this is for uh, wovens, it's not for knits. So I know it kind of looks a little bit deceiving, like it might be for knits, but um, yeah, just for wovens, and the options are all really in the sleeve, the skirt shape, and the skirt length. But I love the little scooped hem um, on B and D. So yeah, really fun, easy, comfortable, and it's got kind of a bit of a drop shoulder on C, which I think is really cute too. Kind of like casual, you know, relaxed. Um, all right, now we have something similar, but this one has a button front. This is Butterick 6758, grown on sleeve, option of having a band, again with the elastic and the drawstring that I may or may not put in. Maybe I'll do a casing with a drawstring and then tie it up sometimes and other times not. But I love the ruffle hem, I love the grown on sleeve, I love the cute little neckline, button front, get two goods up some of my button stash. So this is six, seven, five, eight. All of these were $2, you guys. Um, six, eight, zero, six is next. This guy reads a little bit like um, workwear that I don't really wear anymore. But again, I love view B with like the double tiered skirt, the one over here. Um, for like a really sweet date night. And on this one too, maybe because it's the women's sizing, but they have a like a chunkier elastic uh, waist seam here. And I just thought that that maybe, maybe would be a little bit more comfortable, um, sort of like a looser elastic. And then you use the drawstring to really cinch it in on those days that you want that help. But this is a really cute fall dress that I can see myself making and wearing um, even in kind of casual situations, not necessarily for work. Um, but I have a lot of lightweight wovens that I need to use and that's what this calls for. So, um, 6806. Then I got this number here, 5652. And she's really just kind of all about the loose, free flowing of it all. Of course, I love um, the little jumpsuit here, view D. And if you look at the line drawings, you can see that without that belt that the illustration girl is wearing, it really is just kind of like one of those all-in-one jumpsuits that everybody and their brother are selling at these boutiques, these online boutiques. Um, same thing with B, the dresses are all, like they're just using a belt to cinch it in. So without that, it's really loose and free and easy. Um, and then you can either make a sash, buy a belt, or um, wear it like she is, just kind of without any waist cinching at all. Now that one's a little bit too caftan-y for me with the sleeve and the long length. Um, so I would probably reevaluate that. Plus her fabrication's a little bit structured. I'd go with something a little bit um, like more lightweight and drapey, but this one could be a lot of fun. And again, super simple. I can sew this in a day, you know? It also, for what it's worth, comes with elastic waist pants. So that might be a fun option too. Okay, next up I have Butterick 6525. This is sort of a redemption garment. I made one similar to this. It was a Vogue pattern by one of the designers, I can't remember, and it just drowned me. It's one of my like sewing fails that's just like stuck in my mind. Um, and so this reminded me of that with kind of like the dolman sleeve, the kind of slouchy bodice, but then somewhat 
sort of fitted skirt. Um, this one also comes with pants and a skirt, both elastic waist. Um, so there's the line drawings there on all the different options. So this one I felt like was a, like basically a wardrobe for different garments that you can make out of one. Now, am I going to run out here and start making a ton of elastic waist pants? Probably not, but you know, having one or two, not a bad idea. Plus an elastic waist skirt. I mean, nothing can be more comfortable than that. Right. And this is a knit pattern. So through and through skirt, pant tops, all for knits. Okay, then this one's really fun. Again, I was thinking of vacation on this one. This is 6652. Um, you know me, I don't love a one shoulder situation, but it does have the little strap here, which kind of makes up for that a little bit. So I'd be adding the strap to whatever version I make, but I loved how it had short skirt, long dress, and then also the jumpsuit as well. Again, this one has the elastic waist. You can leave that on, you can take that off, you can convert it to a drawstring, you can make a sash um, to help with that on the days you want a little bit of body definition and then leave it off on the days that you don't. Um, so that's what I was thinking there. This one's from 2019. So I was really kind of going back in the archives, which was fun. All right, and then sort of as an aspirational type of pattern, I got 6878. It's Palmer and Plush. So if anybody's gonna help me get a good fair, a pair of fitted trousers, it's gonna be them. I was mostly drawn to the shorts here. Everybody is wearing those kind of like menswear inspired, trouser inspired, pleated shorts this summer. Um, making them out of like white or like a linen-y beige type color and doing the whole kind of like tailored but casual and relaxed at the same time. I love that juxtaposition. So, I mean, it does have all the details. We've got pleats in the front, angled pockets. We've got four darts on the back, welt pockets, um, belt carriers, the whole nine on this guy. They didn't skimp anything. So this is gonna be one of the ones that would take a little bit of time, but I think she could be worth it. I'm not gonna go for a tapered vibe, just would not be super flattering on me, but the shorts I could do and then maybe widening it to either a straight leg or a wide leg would be fun. So, all right. And then the only Vogue pattern that I got, I think I tried to get another one, but they didn't have my size or they didn't have it at all. And you guys might be surprised if you saw the um, first impression that I, mean, I said in that video, I was going to get this to fix it because there is a glaring issue with it. And while it's at the store, I was like, you know what? I do want to do that. So it is Vogue 1888. And if you remember from that video, we talked about how on the samples, both of them, the waist seam is way too low. Like it's not supposed to be a drop waist. You can see on the technical drawings that it is supposed to be a true waist, um, like waistband or waist seam. Um, and for whatever reason on these, this little piece here is just way too long. So it's going to be an easy fix. And I think it will really make a huge difference whenever I do my kind of reveal and um, do the pattern review. I'll be able to show you my version side by side with one of these. And you can see just how different it is whenever you have your waist seam in the right place. So Vogue 1888. So those are all the patterns that I got. Um, they are all sort of different than what I have in my pattern stash now, because a lot of what I was sewing pre-pandemic was like fit and flares. This stuff is all very relaxed, a lot more casual. So I'm excited to kind of sew up some of that stuff in the next six months or so. Okay, fabric stuff. So they had clearance fabric on sale. So you have your regular clearance where it's like lime green and blue, and then those, those correspond to some percentage off. Most of these were, whatever one is 40% off. So you have like, let's say it's $10, 40% off of that. And then an additional 40% off of that number. So if it's $10, the, the first markdown takes it down to six and then 40% of six is 420. <laughs> Anyways, well, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like 80% off, but it's 40 and then another 40. So a lot of these were in the like $20 range, original price. Um, I think I ended up getting mostly three yards of all of them. Some of them I just took whatever was left because there wasn't that much. And it surprised me too, because you'll see that I actually kind of have an outfit that I put together without even really trying. But 
first up is this gray jersey, right? Cotton jersey, gray, a little bit like of a speckled situation here. Very, very simple, very basic, could be a million different garments. That knit dress with the little tie thing here would be perfect for this. I could also make a t-shirt, um, could make like a uh, tank top, bodysuit, all kinds of things. So this to me was like a no-brainer because it's just such a basic and I can make so many things with it. Um, I want to say this one was originally 13 and then marked down twice. So can't go wrong with a good basic. And then I got this sateen. How beautiful is this color? Kind of like a cocoa burnt brownish color. Um, and I want to make either those uh, Palmer Plus shorts or some kind of bottom out of this, right? And then options to pair it with are this. I mean, that's pretty much like a dead spot on match for that brown color. So this is a, is it double brush poly? Yeah, it's double brush poly. So she's either gonna be like a bodysuit, a t-shirt, something like that. And then I got enough of it to do like a sleeveless dress. Again, maybe that one with the tie front or like a basic t-shirt dress, um, something along those lines. But I thought those, I mean, are just a, a perfect match. So I was excited to find this. Then I found this, um, then I found this, is it chenille? Is that what it's called? Um, that really kind of soft, like perfect for a sweater. And I thought the pink and the brown were like a good little pairing with each other. So again, if I do the shorts, then I can do like a cropped sweater. I didn't get too much of this. They only had about a yard and a half left. So I can't do anything super crazy with it, but um, a good, simple, basic sweater, oversized maybe, depending on how much um, I have. Um, but I thought those were a good pairing together and that would make a cute outfit. And then I got this, which is a actually like a French terry, like a very lightweight French terry. And all the colors in this really speak to this as well, right? So I got a ton of this. So with this, I can make like a French terry, like sweatshirt -y type of design, sweater type design, but I can also make a dress out of this as well and have a cute little French terry dress. I don't know if I would do like, a hooded dress or like something with like a drawstring waist or something like that. But um, this one can be a lot of fun just with the French terry of it all, plus this like fun florally print in like fall colors. Um, and I thought it matched this really well. So can you believe that? I got this one bottom and then three potential top outfits all to go with it. It was almost like meant to be, you know? Sometimes you go into that store and you're just like uninspired and then other times, you're firing on all cylinders. So all of those patterns and all of that fabric I ended up getting for right around $100. So I was pretty impressed. That's going to be a good little fall wardrobe. Um, plus, you know, the stash that I already have. <laughs> she is she is not thin. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, hopefully some really good fall sewing. Um, if you hit up the Joanne sale, let me know um, what you ended up getting. Maybe you scored something really amazing. Um, from there and follow me on Instagram if you want to know the other sales that are going on at Joanne. I post a calendar view of it um, every time I get the little flyer. So if you um, want to see all the sales in like a snapshot, follow me on Instagram and that's where I post that. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!